everybody. Today I am going to show you how to make a picture frame made out of acrylic or also known as plexiglass. All right, first you'll need to do is get the container that we have um, up in the front of the classroom and the directions are located on the inside lid or in the shelf in the front of the classroom if you, you know, want to have your own directions. On here it tells you step by step what you need to do and how you're going to make this. All right, on here, our first step, it says lay out all materials. We need our strip heater. That's this right here. There's a long strip that has a heating coil on it, and that heats up, and that's what's actually going to form our plastic for us. Uh, you need to make sure that's plugged in. You want to plug that in right away because it does take a little bit of time to heat up. Then we need our plastic, the acrylic sheets. You're going to come to me, and I will have these already cut two and a half inches for you, but in strips. So you're going to find a partner, and you guys are going to share a piece. Okay, because you're going to have to cut them to seven inches each. Um, then we need our plastic cutter inside of this box. The plastic cutters are yellow. They're basically just like a little razor blade. Flip open and close. Have that laying out. Uh, we need our plastic cleaner. Inside of here we have a plastic cleaner. Whoops, there you go, dropping stuff. All right, we have our plastic cleaner. This is basically just cheap Windex. Got it from the dollar store. All right. Need some paper towel with that because if we spray it on, we need to be able to clean it off. All right, and then we need our edge scraper. Okay, right? we want to have nice, even, smooth edges, so we have this little scraper that we're just going to scrape across the edges. Otherwise, it might be a little bit bumpy. All right, so I have my pieces out, everything that I need. The next thing I need to do is start to cut. On here, it says number two: score the acrylic sheet. Score or cut. What that means is I'm going to take my razor blade. And I'm just gonna scrape across the plastic until I get a good groove going in the plastic. I wanna do that so I can just snap it and break it, okay? When you do this, you need to have your hair back. You wanna get, make sure you have all the safety things that we need. So I'll pull my hair back. All right, I need safety glasses on. Uh, on here, it tells us measure the plastic sheet two and a half inches by seven. So I had already told you guys that I was going to have it cut two and a half inches for you. Now you just have to mark seven inches. So you just grab yourself a ruler, mark where seven inches is. Seven inches. I like to normally mark two spots on here and then draw a straight line from there. So this way I know I have a nice straight line. Okay. So I have it marked from my end to my here, seven inches. And then I'm going to use my ruler, and I like to use the metal rulers the best. They're located in the tool closet um, as a straight edge for my razor blade. So I'm just simply going to move this stuff out of the way so you guys can see a little bit better. All right. I'm just simply going to kind of have it towards the edge of the table. And the reason that I want to do this is I don't want to cut into my table. I'm going to have my ruler as my straight edge, and then I'm simply just going to very lightly scroll it across, and you'll start to hear a nice little scratch in there, a little scratch sound, and then you just simply bring it towards you. Now notice my body is not in the way, my fingers are out of the way, and I'm just going to take this back and forth and simply cut, 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 scratching it, which is also cutting it. All right. Once you have a groove deep enough, you should be able to just take this on the edge of the table and if you did it enough, you can just snap it and it'll break in half for you. Okay. So now that I have this broken in half, I want to move to my next step where it says we scored our acrylic. We did that. It says put on the edge of the table and break. We did that. Scrap edges if needed uh, or scrape edges if needed with the blue. So I'm going to go ahead Peel off my protective coating that I have on my plexiglass. All right. If my edges need to be scraped at all, I'm just simply going to take, and I'm going to use the middle one. You can use any of the grooves that you want. I find the middle one to work the best. I'm just going to scrape my edges so they're not so sharp. And make sure you use all four of your edges. You want to go around all four of your edges. Some edges might take a little bit longer than others. All right. I'm go ahead and scrape it all off. Now that I did that, I kind of have some impurities and some fingerprints on here. I want to clean it off. That's where my cleaner is going to come into play. I have this right here. And I'm simply just going to grab a little bit of paper towel. All right. 
open up my cheap Windex. I'm going to spray it on the paper towel. You can spray it right on your plexiglass if you want to, but I just find it, you know, it clears and dries a lot easier if I just do it on the paper towel. Okay. Notice my hands are to the side, so I'm not getting fingerprints on them. Once I'm done with that, I want to find the center. I'm down to step number three now. It says find the center of your plastic, which is seven inches. So half of seven is three and a half. So I find three and a half inches, and I'm going to take it, I'm going to place it on here. Here's another little trick if you're watching this video. You'll notice that if you cut it to the right length, it should be the exact width of my strip heater. So I just want to go ahead and place it on, on there. Now, you're going to want to keep this on the strip heater for about two minutes or until soft. That's what it says on here. When we remove it, we want to fold it really quickly so that um, when it cools down, that the plastic hardens that way. When I do that, a book or your assignment notebook or something to help push down on the plastic so you don't burn your hand is what you want to use. Um, takes a couple minutes, like I said. So this is a great time to start cleaning up, putting your tools away that you don't need to use anymore. All right, so I'm gonna put that stuff away. I have a little, you know, just a pad of paper I'm gonna push down on. Now, some people, if there's plastic left over, where did I put that plastic? I said it somewhere. Anyways, with your plastic that you're sharing with a partner, actually I think it fell on the floor, it did. If there's only a little tiny bit that needs to be broken off, you want to use a vice grip. Okay, this is a vice grip, and we can actually take this, once you score your line, you can put this right on here, and then just snap it, and it should come right off. But it's not going to come off unless you have a nice score or a nice cut into the plastic. Alright, so get this stuff out of our way as we're cleaning up. Now, I'm going to take a look at my plastic, and you can notice, look at that, I'm able to fold it all the way over. With the other plastic, I wouldn't be able to do that. All right? So now I know that this is ready. I'm just going to take my plastic. I'm going to fold it up and over like this. I want to line up my top and my edges. I have about 15 to 20 seconds before this starts to harden. All right? So I just line everything up, put it on the edge of the table. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take my pad or, uh, you know, like I said, a book, an assignment notebook, and I'm just going to push down on the edge of here. I'm going to hold it here for just a few seconds. I don't want to push down as hard as I can because I don't. I want to have there a little bit of like a loop at the bottom of my picture frame. All right? You don't want to push the bottom of your picture frame too flat. If you do that, you're not going to be able to slide a picture in and out of your picture frame. All right? Now, if I let go of this, and it stays together, wonderful. If it starts to spring back open, that means it hasn't cooled down enough and you wanna uh, let it cool down before, you know, you wanna push back down on it until it starts to cool down, all right? Uh, final touches. You have the choice to either paint it using paint markers or the laser. Um, if you're gonna use the laser, let me know. I can show you how to use that. Um, or the paint markers are inside of our container here. There's different colors. And you want to make sure that, you know, you just paint the edges. You don't want to paint right in the middle of your picture. Uh, some of you might want to put little mustaches on there. I don't know why. That's a thing that students like to do. You can do that, too, like right in the middle. But the purpose of our picture frame is to actually be able to see a picture inside of it. All right? A couple other little tips. The rounded part is our bottom. The top part is where we can open it up, and we should be able to slide our picture into here. Okay, this is the top. This is the bottom. You don't want to have your picture frame upside down because your picture might fall out of it. All right, once we do that, I want to attach two little magnets. There's a bag of magnets inside of the container. All right, I'm just going to take two magnets, peel off the back, stick them on here, and then you would turn it in for a final grade. If you have any questions, you can rewind this video. You can ask a friend. You can come and ask the teacher. We're all here to help you out.